Hello YouTubers, this video is how to make a bio suit to protect yourself against things such as the Ebola virus, um, any viruses out there, any uh, diseases. Uh, this is how to make a suit on a budget or if something happens and you don't have time to order a suit, this is going to be a heck of a lot better than nothing at all. Um, I'm not going to say that it's perfect, because it's not. Yeah, I mean, it's not a $500 suit, that's for sure, but I can tell you, this will protect you. This will give you the best shot, the best bang for your buck, the best chance of protecting your family in an emergency. And let's face it, if you got nothing, well, this is pretty damn good. Uh, I've done extensive research on this um, so here we go you're gonna first first thing you're gonna want to make sure you get some latex gloves okay and these latex gloves are very easy to puncture so what you're gonna want to do is this is a part of your suit okay but on top of these gloves you want to get some really cheap gloves like um, gardening gloves you get a pack of uh, 20 pairs for five bucks or something so that you don't puncture these um, you gotta make sure that nothing on your suit gets punctured so you're gonna have a very thin layer of clothing your suit and then disposable clothing on top of your suit to protect your suit that's the best way to take care of the suit that I've put together here. Alright, and then at a minimum you're gonna want the Ultra 95 masks. This is a bare minimum, okay? It's approved as a N95 particulate respirator, complies with OSHA regular regulations made from latex free materials, may help provide respiratory protection against some airborne diseases, okay? This is the minimum. I highly recommend a respirator. Um, a respirator that is guaranteed to protect against airborne diseases. However, on a budget, in a last minute situation, I shouldn't say this is the bare minimum. Any mask could be the bare minimum. Any mask is better than nothing. However, many, many masks out there, such as um, common just dust masks, are not going to protect against airborne diseases. However, by not allowing a direct contact with the air, I think this is any mask would be better than nothing. But for a decent suit sake, this is the minimum. Okay? Then you're going to want to get quality trash bags, good quality, because this is going to be your suit. Okay? We're going to make a suit out of trash bags. Um, remember, we're improvising. All of a sudden, uh, airborne disease or any disease is all of a sudden become an epidemic and it's killing everyone in the country, okay? And you're trying to survive. This is a last ditch effort, okay? However, it's a lot better than nothing and it may just keep you alive. You can look at it and say, well, that's ridiculous. However, it's not. It, it's better than nothing. All right, and then quality duct tape. Good duct tape. And scissors. This is what you're going to need to make this suit. Also, you're going to want to get goggles. I haven't purchased any, so you won't see me wearing any. I do plan on getting a few pairs. Um, that'll be a part of your suit as well. Um, also, Make sure you stockpile bleach. Uh, mixture, a 50 50 mixture of bleach and water will kill just about anything. You're also going to want to have a spray bottle, okay? In fact, I would get four of them. So you have four on your hip. Make a belt that'll hold four spray bottles. Alright, this way when you go to pick something up, like say you're searching houses for food and you get a, we'll say, a can of food. Before you even touch this, you should spray it very, very well to hopefully 
get any disease off of it or decontaminate it okay and anything you touch anything you come in contact with you're going to want to spray the ultimate goal is to keep the disease off your suit all right your suit is the final barrier between you and the disease but you should do everything in your power not to get something on your suit all right so i'm going to show you guys now how to build your suit remember stockpile bleach um, any kind of disinfectant uh, hand sanitizers okay um, now these hand sanitizers you're not going to take in the field with you this is for when you get back to decontaminate your body you know you could actually take this hand sanitizer it only kills 99.99% .99 of germs however that's a heck of a lot of germs we don't know if it's effective on Ebola maybe they do I don't know but this is, would be for after you've taken your suit off and you're decontaminating your body maybe you can't take a shower you know you're not you're probably not going to want to spray a combination of water or bleach all over your body however I probably would screw it if my skin burns I don't care it's better than getting Ebola or some other disease um, and I think bleach and water would probably do a better job than this or maybe I'd use a combination hell I might pour a a mixture of bleach water in this all together uh, I don't care if my skin burns, I don't care if I get a rash I ain't getting no disease, I got a family to take care of so I'm gonna put this together, sorry if I'm talking fast, I got a lot of information at once and I'm sure you guys are uh, smart enough to understand what I'm talking about alright, let's put this together it's not puncture proof, especially with like Ebola all these people are throwing up and they're, they're puke is filled with the Ebola virus so you really want to protect your feet very very well All right. Um, now the last but not least I need to show you guys last but not least I need to show you guys how to do I'm having a problem on my tripod I'm sorry you're unprofessional right there we go, I got it. Alright, last but not least, I need to show you guys how to do your hat. Not really a hat, but that's what we're going to call it. Um, the best way would be fresh trash bag okay so you can use the bottom of it it's like a whole bag right up and over your head find where your eyes are Pinch a tiny hole into it. Tiny hole. Second tiny hole. Okay, and then your nose and your mouth. Pinch a hole. You gotta make sure it's big enough for your mask. Just like. Just about like that. Okay. Then you're gonna wanna go around your forehead with some tape to seal it. Well, not to seal it, but to make it fit better.
really starting to look crazy now. now. Keep your holes fairly small so that it's easy to make a seal. However, make sure you're not blinding yourself. I can see perfectly right now whether it looks like it can to you guys or not. Then take your mask. I hate to open this and waste one, but if it saves one life, it's worth it. Okay, with your masks, you got two rubber bands piece here that's for your nose now you want to make sure your bag is above just like this okay you want your mouth and your nose exposed so you can get your mask on now the bottom band up and over the head top band up and over the head then work it down. Perfect. Now as a little bit of extra safety precaution, I would prefer to have someone go around and tape my mask off. To make sure that there's a good seal and that someone couldn't rip it off of me. Your goggles would go up here, tape your goggles off, okay, and uh, you got almost an impenetrable barrier. Um, you know, it's not perfect, but it's better than nothing. So, remember, the goal is to stay alive. Knowledge is power. And power is what went to these people's heads. <laughs> okay, these are 30 gallon trash bags. They're thicker, decent quality trash bags. Alright, now the first thing you're going to want to do is find your opening. Alright, don't pull it all the way open yet because it'll be easier to cut. Easier to cut if it's not. Right, we know the opening is on the bottom, so now we're going to flip it all the way over. Now this is the bottom of the trash bag, right? You're going to want to cut a neck into it, and dead center. Don't make it too big, just big enough for your head to fit through it. Alright, so we'll find the dead center point. In fact, I'm going to cut a smaller hole and probably squeeze my head through. factory edges don't just cut around the edges because once you cut these you lose that all the strength in the trash bag sorry if you can't see me same thing on the side don't cut the edge you don't want to right here's the edge you don't want to cut in this area so do that Make all your smalls hollow, all your holes smaller than 
your uh, body. This way, when you put yourself inside of it, you're stretching it so it's as tight as possibly can be. Alright, now, I got all my holes cut. We got top, right there, neck, then we got the arms, arm, now, put it up and over your head, get inside of it, and stretch all the holes to fit your body. And hopefully the bag doesn't tear. See how it, it kind of made sleeves because I did it the way I did it? That's exactly what you want. Alright. Now this is the top part of your suit. Now, you're going to grab another trash bag. Open it all the way up. Same thing, find the hole. Now, I have the hole right here that you would normally fill the trash. This bag, if you can see, you can cut it straight down the middle, top to bottom, so that you can make your arms. One other thing I want you guys to know is these suits are disposable. And actually, you don't have to do a dead center. There's going to be lines in the bag. Just follow the lines. You want to save as many bags as you can. Save all your parts, too, that you're not using. So, now uh, this is what we have. Okay. That's going to be one arm. And what you're going to want to do is open it right up. And you see you got the bottom of the bag here. You're going to want to cut a small hole on this corner. This is the bottom where the bottom of the trash bag would be. You're going to want to cut a small hole in it to put your hand through. Under. Don't cut your edges. You always want to save the strength. So I'm going to cut right here. And remember, you guys can improv improvise. If you have different ideas that you think might make it stronger or better, all the power to you. And you see how that goes right over the top of this one? Alright. This is also going to be a part of your neck. Now, and the bottom here, if you can see it, this is my arm. I'm going to tuck, I'm going to take and wrap from your hand. Work your way up. This is a lot easier with two people, by the way. Wrap it right around. And this is where the duct tape comes in handy. And remember your goal is to make sure nothing can get through your suit. Seal it off completely. Like you don't want air from the outside to be able to touch you. First, 
you're gonna want to tape your wrist, go all the way around at the wrist. Don't cut your circulation off, but make it tight. Just be smart about it. Try not to waste tape either. Okay. Let's see how I got that. You want to do that all the way up your arm. And then in your back where the two bags meet, you're going to need someone to tape it for you. And tape it really well. Make tapes, tape the long way so it'll cross your back and top to bottom. Alright? The long way is going to be like your hinge. So, think of this being my back. You're going to have a piece go straight across. And then, you're going to make the seal going up and down. Alright, and by making a hinge, always do your hinge last. The seal up and down will be the first on the bag, your hinge will be second. And the hinge will keep the seal from breaking. Alright, now, I'm going to show you the wrist. I can't do this whole suit myself. Um, you need, you really need someone to help you. So I'm going to show you guys the basics. i uh, show you how to make it. I won't be able to show you a start to finish. Well, maybe I will. Just not in this video. I'll probably finish it in another one. And I can get someone to help me. But now, look, you take your glove. You go up and over the tape that you put on. Okay. Then... You're going to want to tape on top of the glove and make a seal here. So, the entire bag needs to get sealed. Alright. And, if you can see the two parts here, you're going to have to make a seal. Going from the bottom all the way up, an airtight seal. But I wanted to show you and now you're going to take some more tape. It's about the length that you think would wrap around your wrist. And you're going to go on top of the glove. Just like so. And then you're going to seal it. So it'll look just like that. And remember you're going to be wearing gloves on top of these gloves. Because you could puncture these gloves and you don't want to take that risk. Am I the bag man or what? Alright, now I'm sure you can see it coming together. You can do the same thing for the other side. Now I want to show you guys the feet and the legs. I'm going to take this off. Hard to work. Save used gloves that you're practicing with. Okay. You can never have enough gloves. Just throw out your used gloves and a bag. Now when I say used gloves, Use gloves that you're practicing making things around the house, like suits, whatever. Nothing with blood on it. Those are obviously trash. Nothing that's been contaminated. But used gloves are still good to have to protect your body if you know there's nothing on them. Everything we do, we need to save every bit of... We don't know how long an outbreak could last. Right? Even... Alright, now when I make this suit, I'm in a decontaminated area. So, all leftover pieces for making my suit should be saved, no matter what. Even these little, little tiny pieces. Okay? That little piece right there might be just what I need to seal off my nose. You know, between, uh, my mask and 
my goggles. You know, everything should be saved. Teach yourself to become a pack rat. Alright, now, I'm going to show you the trick to the feet. These shopping bags, okay, they don't seal up like the trash bags do. I can make uh, impenetrable seal with trash bags, but these are the first liner to the feet. Alright, you want to put four of these bags, one another, one in inside of the other. So, Just like so. Now we're gonna have a trash bag on top of this as well. But I wanted to show you this because when you're walking, it would be easy to rip your bags open. So, or to rip your trash bag open. We want to protect this as best as possible. And on top of our trash bag, we're also gonna duct tape to help keep from ripping anything open. Now, you're going to want to you want to tie this off as best as possible. Get it as tight as possible up here. Just like that. Don't go through it. And then turn it around your foot. And then, if you fold it, you're going to want to put some tape around here. And uh, on these inner parts that you're not making a seal, don't be afraid to rip your tape in half to make it go further. Same spot, leave the factory edge. Okay, you can see the bag. Alright, I'm sure you understand what I'm talking about. And you're going to want to stick your foot through the hole in the bottom. Okay. Right. 
straight up your bag. Stand up. Stand up straight, it's not going to be long enough. Alright, you work your way up the leg, taping it all the way up. top and you're gonna start taping the top and the leg together and forming the top to the bottom. See how the suit is starting to come together. Make sure the best way to do this is to have a partner. I could do it right myself, but it would take forever. I mean, I'm not kidding, forever. Alright. So, I'll show you what my leg now looks like. is now officially the leg. You have on my foot there there's gonna be a